Good evening to you, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We're going to drink a beer. It was picked up for me by my good buddy Greg. It's the first beer I've ever had from this brewery. It is from the Bandit Brewing Company in Toronto. These guys ended up buying a uh, plot of land right beside a beer store. This is the Apricot Goza at 4.1% alcohol. And they are on Dundas Street West in Toronto. And, uh, raccoons are their animal of choice. Their animal of choice is a raccoon. Okay, we have the Bose Greener Futures, uh, Teku here. The Phase 3 Teku. Wow. Wow. When I did the salt test, um, you know, you do the... Uh, Spray with water with a little bit of salt and see about your streaking. I didn't have, it didn't show me that it was going to be this bad. It showed me, you know, I was probably going to have a few uh, air bubbles clinging. But not like that. But as you see, they're they're going away fairly quickly. I'm a little embarrassed. I mean, I, I usually, I have hard water and I know I have hard water. So I usually have uh, watermarks and everything on here. But never has it been that bad. I'm actually disturbed by that, to be honest. So there's some bright white head. Almost like a uh, mango juice-like in just how thick this is. This is a thick, thick beer. Wow. Tis a thick, thick beer. Scent? Out of the glass, I'm getting mostly just that, uh, that nondescript, weedy scent. What out of the bottle? Okay, nondescript, weedy scent with a little bit of, uh, over-ripened, almost to, uh, almost going back into the sour apricot flavor. You know, you buy, sometimes you buy apricots and they're just, uh, they're not ripe yet, they're hard as a rock, and you leave them. And you've left them too long and they pass that good point to that so so soft that if you touch them they're just going to crumble. Yeah, that's what the smell on this reminds me of. But I mean, it's it's a Goza, right? So it's going to be a, uh, a slightly salty, slightly sour uh, wheat beer with apricots. So I mean, uh, a sour apricot scent, I guess, is... I guess is what you'd expect out of it. Let's try it. Cheers. Thank you, Gregory. About an hour ago, I uh, before I watched the second episode of uh, The Walking Dead, I had my first beer, which was a 3% alcohol sour saison from Bellwoods. And this actually reminds me quite a lot of it. This tastes quite a lot like that sour saison. It's, uh... It, it has a lot of the same flavors, that just weedy breadiness... That slightly, uh, slightly sour taste that almost comes off as like a uh, lemon slash grapefruit taste. So a slightly, slightly tart lemon and grapefruit, a very, very apparent weedy breadiness, uh, no saltiness. Uh, apricot, I, I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you, but look at how thick that is. Wow.
now that I've made enough room that I could get the bottom of the bottle in, yeah, I could see the apricot. It's still the same thing, it's that tart, but now the tart has switched from lemon and grapefruit to like lemon and, uh, and apricot. Both under-ripened and over-ripened apricot, because I find that over-ripened apricot, once it's gone past its ripe stage, and it's starting to be at the point where you can just stick your fingers through it, it, it seems to lose a lot of sweetness and go back into that sour note, and that's kind of what I'm getting off of this. And then that bready biscuitiness, and then just a nonchalant, weedy dryness on the very finish. <coughs> Pardon me. For my first beer from this brewery, it is quite a nice beer, to be honest with you. Ah. Uh, Out of 10 on it? I don't know, uh... An 8? An 8 out of 10? I mean, it's not... It doesn't have any of that, that saltiness that I would expect from a, from a Goza. Well, I guess it kind of does. I guess I could say it does, but I don't know if it really does or if I'm saying it does. Because there is a, a taste on the back of my palate that is kind of reminiscent of saltiness, but I think that's my mind, my mind psychosomatically going, Hey, you're tasting salt, even though I'm not really. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I am, and I'm telling myself that I'm psychosomatically tasting it, so I have to th stop thinking that I'm tasting it. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good beer. It's not an amazing beer, but as the first beer I've had from the brewery, and the lowest ABV beer I've had from the brewery, and probably the most approachable beer of the styles that were brought to me from the brewery, I find this to be a very acceptable beer, and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Gregory, for picking this up. I'm going to drink the rest of this as I watch an episode of... Oh, what do I want to watch today? You know what? I think I might start X-Files up again. I think I might start Season 1 of X-Files. So maybe I'll drink this while I watch some X-Files. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. Au revoir. See you soon. Bye-bye. Mwah.